Okay, peeps, pups are now three weeks old, um, about three and a bit weeks old. Um, so we started to wing, uh, to wing them. You saw me using a high quality mint. Now we're going to soak this kibble. Um, let me just see if I can show you the nutritional values of this kibble. Um, so you can see. Uh, bear with me a second. I can find this fantastic stuff. Where is it? Okay, can we can we see that? So we've got crude protein 32%, 20% fat. Um, you've got fiber in there, you've got calcium, you've got phosphorus, you've got the omega-6s in there, you know. Um, very, very good food. I mean, Arden Grange is just uh, churning out a really good range all through um, life stages. You know, you've got the junior ranges there. Um, now, you know, of course you can wean on, you know, there, there are a series of foods that I've talked about. It's funny, uh, Arden Grange, because, you know, um, you can Uber. Um, Arden Grange, the lady there used to work with Yukonuba. Yukonuba, again, a good food. IMS, um, Pro Plan, um, you know, Royal Cannon. Um, some people have had really good results with Royal Cannon. Royal Cannon is not in my top three um, for this particular breed. There are some breeds that um, Royal Cannon um, really is very good, but all those foods are good. Um, and you get good results from using, you know, all those foods. For me at the moment, and you might say, well, you know, Ben, is it pro plan? Um, at the moment, I think as a balanced food, and especially in their junior range, where they've dropped their protein level to 26%, um, I think that for a fast growing breed, that protein level is about right. Um, this food, you'd probably have them on this until they're about eight weeks, nine weeks, 10 weeks. Um, then you can, you can start moving them onto, um, you know, the puppy junior. Um, kibbles. Um, so basically what you need first of all is a very clean bowl. This terrible weather is, I'm struggling to do this for you today, to show you this. It's, I'm just, oh, I feel so shitty. So there's a kibble, like so. And at the moment, for the eight pups, that should be enough because they will still be suckling. You're gonna keep mum away for a little bit longer um, every day. Um, increases their hunger and increases their independence. Um, this is a Neutralac. If I can get into it, that is. So with that, we're gonna take two heap spoonfuls like this. Filming is shit today, sorry. like so, then we're going to take a good bit of mint and we're going to spread it like so, there we go, and then what we're going to do is boiling water, we're going to soak this In boiling water. Leave that to soak. Really simple. Really, really simple stuff. So this is a really good quality mint. Like that. Kibble. So you've got two scoopfuls. I mean, you'll, 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 you know, as they grow, you'll adjust the feeding accordingly. Um, so I'm mixing it all up in here, and then I'm going to separate into bowls. What I actually do. Um, the, the first few times that they're eating is I actually um, make sure that um, I I actually watch each individual puppy eat because what will happen is there is you do want that competition but at this age where they just shove their head in the bowl and they're just compressing the food and not really eating anything I'll show you a way of style it is a little bit more labor intensive but for the first couple of feeds for you to actually make sure that your puppies, each one of them, each and every one of them, is eating well. So I'm going to mix this now, and, uh, and then we're going to head outside. And, and, and you know, you can feed mum this as well. I mean, uh, mum's on, on puppy junior, um, but you can feed, um, you know, mum this. And you can feed her the leftovers. It's very good, very nutritional. Um, and the puppies digest it and they love it. So let me mix this all up.
Now, um, I've got one pup only. Oh, this is for demonstration purposes only. It wouldn't. Now, I, I'm picking one. I'm picking one puppy at a time um, to eat, so I can actually see that the puppy's eating. You only do this for the first few times. Now, you ideally don't want to do this in a high place. This is only because I'm um, I'm showing you guys. And, and also, um, you need to do it separate from any of the other puppies so they're not fighting for the food. These are eating quite well. and you're gauging consumption up just from the stomach here. You will start building competition up. Fantastic. So ideally, I mean in my case where I've got eight puppies, what you'll then do is... Bambi! Pack it in now! She's trying to come in. Um, so you, you, you pair them off. It doesn't always work out that way. They'll walk around and, and eat, but try and just try and keep them in pairs. So you can see they're enjoying the, uh, the first meal. Don't worry if all, not all pups are eating at the same level. You know, it's still very early days. There's little Tinkerbell. There's Kenka. There's a major. You can always play with the consistency of um, of the kibble as well. You can turn it into a turtle porridge if you like. There's Latif. Mishka's having a good go. Major's a very greedy boy. In the next few days, this will be gone in, gone in 60 seconds. There's Mishka. I mean, the head profiles on the puppies are really beautiful. 
doing very well indeed. Try not to have too much liquid um, in the mix. Can can. Beautiful girl, isn't she? Look at her head. Look at her head. <laughs> She's so beautiful. Very sweet girl. Mishka is turning into a real stunner, isn't she? And look at little Tim Tinkerbell in the, in the corner there. She's really picked up as well. Nice and chunky. I wouldn't say an amazing effort. I will now, you know, encourage eating <coughs> by raising the bowl and focusing on one puppy at a time. Mishka is gorgeous. Mishka is just gorgeous. <laughs> Look at that Blakey boy in the corner there. So. It's a delicate age now, but in the next week or so, they'll just be scoffing food down like no man's business. <laughs> they look like little bulldogs. Great head profiles. Mishka, Mishka, beautiful head on her. Hello, son. Yeah, so those are pups at three weeks old. By next week, they should be eating a, eating a lot more. So happy for Tinkerbell. Look at her. She's a real chunky girl. You know, a real chunky girl. <laughs> Very interesting heads indeed. Something really special is happening with this litter. So yeah, you keep mum away for about an hour. Let them have a good go at it. One of the reasons I don't want to make it too porridges is just step in it and they just rub it all over themselves. <laughs> <laughs> 